Sorry. Let's welcome everybody to another episode of Rooster Fam. We're cooking something really good today. We're going to make... What are we going to make? Uh, chopped beef sandwiches. Chopped beef sandwiches. Yeah. Barbecue chopped beef. So we're going to do it in a crock pot. It takes a long time, right, Char? Eight hours. That's almost the whole day. But we get to watch football all day, right? The Cowboys? Yeah. How about some Cowboys? That's right. So we have a total of three and a half pounds of meat here in two pieces, as you see. We're going to choose our favorite dry rub. Is this our favorite dry rub? Yeah. This is from the Salt Lake in Texas. We had to special order this online, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to do here, Char? Are we going to put our dry rub on both roasts? Yeah, dry rub. That's right. Dry rub, right? Dry rub. Plenty of dry rub. All right. So I'm going to flip it over so we get it on both sides, right? Yeah. Okay. You want to put some on there? Yeah. Put it all over the top of the meat. Get a lot of good dry rub on there. And again, we're doing it on the crock pot today. It's your choice to do it on the grill or the crock pot. You can even do it in the oven. Okay, so that's a pretty good amount there, Char. We're gonna get it all over the top of the meat, right? All over. Let's put some more on this one. Okay. So today, <laughs> we're making chopped beef sandwiches. So after about seven and a half hours, we're gonna start to break up this meat in the crock pot. Now that's pretty good, Char. Is that pepper making you sneeze a little? Let's be sure and cover our mouth when we sneeze. We got clean hands. We can go wash up again if we need to. Don't worry. Okay, so we got rub pretty much all over the place. Let's get a little bit on the sides here. <clears throat> and we're gonna cook it on high for eight hours in the crock pot. Picked a couple of chuck roasts that had good marble. Uh, so the fat's gonna just kind of cook into it. And we're gonna put them in the crock pot with a little bit of beef broth. Let's do that. So I got my beef broth in there, right? Just one can is all you need. I'm ready to put these chuck roast in the crock pot. Okay, we got three and a half pounds total chuck roast beef. And we're gonna put it on high. Eight hours later, here we are. It's halftime. Cowboys are up 10 to nothing, so that's great. But back to the task at hand. We want to check on our chuck roast. We're making chopped beef at Rooster Fam. It's great. Look at it. I'm picking it up with a fork. It's just falling apart. That's exactly where we want it to be. I'm going to set some on a cutting board. We're going to shred it up and put it in the bowl. If I can keep it all together. Look at this. Wow, it's so tender. Excellent. Eight hours is perfect. We're going to break up our meat, put the rest of it in. Add some barbecue sauce, let's roll. Let's chop it up, baby. You see how it's running against the grain? You see how tender it is? Just looking as good as it can be. We're just going to chop it up. You can be as sloppy as you'd like to be. There's no real rhyme or reason to just uh, chop beef. So guys, I know you guys like the sweeter sauce. Mommy and I like the peppery sauce. So we're going to make a couple different batches with our chopped beef. Right? Yeah, can I stir it? You can stir it up. Four ounces of sauce to about a half pound of meat. Let's stir it up. Let's get it all mixed up real good. Come on. So if you got some on your finger, then just taste it. Let's slide on back over here so we can stir everything up real nice, right? Right in my chopped beef. There's eight ounces of barbecue sauce, right guys? Yeah. So I'm going to stir my barbecue sauce slowly into my meat. Let's get ready to put it on a bun. We're going to cut up our onion, throw some pickles on our sandwich. Oh, it's going to be delicious. We just got some uh, some sourdough rolls. Pile it on. Do you want pickles and onions or just pickles? Pickles. 
this pickle. There you go. Get it on there. Let's get a good heaping amount, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get more. You want more meat? Yeah. Oh, it looks yummy. What do you think? Is that a pretty good amount? Yeah. Now, that looks good. Now time for pickle. Pickle. Pickles. <laughs> How many pickles do you want? Three pickles? Three. three All right. Pickle. Three big pickles. Let's try them out. Rooster Family Cooking did it again. Thumbs up. What do you think? 10 out of 10? Mm -hmm. Ricky made this thing. What do you think? Oh, cool. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make my wife's sandwich. She likes hers with pickles and onions. Sweetheart, I made you one just for you. Let me get this onion back on here just right. Try it out. All I ask for is honesty. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of sauce though. You like, well, we can always add some more sauce, right? Mm -hmm. I like a lot of sauce myself too. I always kind of drench it. I only put uh, about eight ounces into two pounds of meat here, so it, it could definitely use some sauce once you put it on the bread. I agree with that. Is the meat tender? It's tender. Nice. And very flavorful without the sauce. Good, good. But I like mine with a lot of sauce. Well, we did stir some in. Now, I'm going to finish the Cowboys game, make myself a sandwich. Actually, let me take a bite of this one. I normally don't eat it, eat mine with onions. That's mine. I just no. <laughs> we can fight over some chopped beef. We can. Oh. Mommy, you like. Mm. My That's how we do a rooster fam. Thank you for joining us on Rooster Family Cooking. Subscribe to us at Rooster Fam. Follow us on Twitter and IG, and we'll see you next time. You do something magical.